Welcome to the January 2021 Treasury Report for Lake Harriet Lodge, which will be for the basically the calendar year 2020. And out of an abundance of caution, it will be a remote report. The agenda is pretty much the same as it always is. We're going to talk about the December activity. We'll summarize what happened in 2020. We'll go over our income and expenses for the month. We'll talk about the checking account balance. Give you an update on our 2021 dues. This is a good thing. Uh, put Give me an idea of what we put down with the Grand Lodge for a 2021 budget and some of the thoughts that went into that. It's not set in stone. If somebody wants, we want changes, we can make changes. Uh, talk about the endowment fund activity and then give you an update on the Lodge Company. Oh yeah, we're still solvent. Okay, as usual, we'll talk about the profit and loss for the year-to-date through December of 2020. That's these two statements, and then the balance sheet at 1231. And I know those are too small to read, but I emailed the actual reports to Gavin and Paul, and those are available to be printed off, and those who want more detail and actually see the fine print, uh, they're available. Okay, the highlights on the page one of the profit and loss report are our income from dues was slightly higher than uh, 2019, 51,400 versus 50,300. That's good. But because of the pandemic, we couldn't do any fundraising to speak of, so our total income is significantly lower, 55,007 versus 62,004. On the uh, talking about the expenses, the main difference is the building operation contribute. Uh, we increased our rent to the lodge company from $1,300 a month to um, $1,500 a month. And because one of our tenants backed out, we had to take $5,000 out of the endowment fund and contribute that to the lodge company to to pay the taxes and the, and the building operation. So the building operation contribution is significantly higher than it was last year. Okay, the key items to point out on page two of the profit loss are the um, lodge room remodeling. That was not something that we budgeted for last year, but made the decision to do that. And we just took money out of the endowment fund to do that, so it's not income. So our expenses are going to be $30,000 higher than they were last year. Um, Masonic, Masonic Scholarship Fund, we didn't give any out this year, and actually one of our students gave the money back. And so that's what the $1,000 is for. So we're holding that there. Next year, when we give out scholarships, we'll not only give out our regular scholarship, but we'll also give out the, the scholarship for the one that we got back. And then also, um, on the pancake breakfast and the dinners, this year I have I s split them out. The income is shown in the income. The expenses are shown in the expenses. Last year, the income and expenses were combined and put into the income column. Um, I just thought it would be easier to more informative to see what came in as income, what came out as expenses. So the expenses show up this year that, that weren't there last year. And then the um, other thing is we, we have a fundraiser going on right now with ties and badges. And so we bought the ties and badges. And if you haven't bought one yet, I'm sure somebody there will sell you one tonight. Okay, the main things to point out on the balance sheet is our checking account balance is about $17,000, and it's higher than that now because we've had some dues come in. We've got a little over $10,000 in the, the SIT fund. That's kind of a, a slush backup emergency fund. And then look at the trust fund, $594,000. We'll talk more about that later, but that's a nice number. The income graph gives us a nice way to compare what happened in 2020 to what happened in the last two years, 2019 and 2018. And as you can see, our income is much lower than it was for the last two years because in a pandemic you can't have fundraisers, but it's very nice to report that our dues are just a little bit over what they were um, in 2019. Less than they were in 2018, but at least it was better than 2019. Here's our graph for the year-to-date comparison of expenses for the last three years. The uh, expenses for 2020 were significantly higher than 2019 or 2018. 
And there's that big green bar in the middle there. That's our lodge remodeling project. Uh, money was taken out of the endowment fund to pay for that. But other than that, our expenses were not significantly different uh, than prior years. Here's the graph of the checking account balance comparisons. And as you can see, in 2020, our checking account is slightly higher than it was the last couple of years. Um, that's because we've had excellent return on our um, collection of dues for 2021. Um, and so we're, we're looking pretty good. So my observations on 2020 is that income is obviously lower than it was in 2019 because of, because of the pandemic, we could do no fundraising. Dues are slightly higher, so that, that's, a, that's good news. Expenses were higher due to the lodge room remodeling. Other than that, our expenses were about the same, so there's no, nothing that jumped out that, uh, at us that we had to have to worry about. The report on 2021 dues is very good. At the end of 2019, we had, we had collected $15,395 in dues during 2018 that were to be really 2019 dues. This year, at the end of 1231.20, just about the same amount. Um, so that's good uh, that these were dues that were collected in 2020 that are actually 2021 dues. And you'll, if you look on the balance sheet, you can see the, this, these numbers. That's, that's really good because at the end of November, we were farther behind. Now, and so what happened last year, and so we get the lifetime members' dues are paid by the Grand Lodge, and that happens in February. And so last year when that happened, that, the checking account balance we had plus the, the lifetime membership dues coming in in February, that carried us through the rest of the year in 2020, and hopefully we'll be able to do that in 2021. We're, we're in the same kind of position we were at the same time last year. This is good news. Since the officers' meeting, we had to file the, our annual report with the Grand Lodge, and so we, as part of that, we put together a 2021 budget, um, pretty bare-bones stuff here. We just looked at uh, the number of members we had, assumed 90% of the members would pay dues, multiplied that by 175 and came up with 52,850. We've still got some ties and badges to sell. Did I mention they're out there to be picked up? Uh, buy them tonight. Um, hopefully we'll sell around $1,000 of those for total income of 53,850. Then I just took a look at what we had budgeted for last year and pretty much left it the same. Um, and the 18,000 is the uh, $1,500 a month. Um, these are just estimates based on what we paid before and come up with a total expenses of 49720 So we're projecting a little bit of a, a profit or a, a hedge for uh, expenses that we didn't put together in the budget. Um, there's no like pancake breakfast. There's nothing in there for that. Dinners, there's nothing in there for that. If the pandemic ends and we can start having these things again, then uh, we'll have fundraising and then we'll be making contributions because right now there's there's no plan in here for uh, spending money for uh, charity and hopefully we can do some fundraising and have some charity so um, if you feel that there's a number here that you want adjusted more than happy to take suggestions um, write me an email at matthewarl at gmail.com um, in the Grandview system um, I'm more than happy to take input. I'm very happy to present this report on the endowment fund. Is that at the beginning of 2020 we had $561,000. We made withdrawals of $33,000. That was uh, $28,000 for the lodge room remodeling, and $5,000 to make up for lost rent to the lodge company. But we had income of $66,100. Back here in February, March, when the bottom fell out of the market, I was, I was getting a little worried, but we've had a really good year to make $66,000 um, in income. So our balance in the trust fund at the end of the year is $594,000. So like I said, we had $28,000 for the lodge room, $5,000 for the... Now the trustees just met right before this meeting, so I can't report on what we talked about, but 
we know that, and I'll talk about this a little bit more, we are losing rent um, on the building. Um, and one organization is not meeting and is not paying rent. And several of our, the other organizations um, have shaky futures. And so uh, we're not sure what we're going to get for rent. And so um, I think in, in February when I present a report, I can give you more information about um, we may have to be using the endowment fund to make up for some of that lost rent. But and on on seeing expenses like something breaking in the in the building. So but more about that next month. I've also been asked to take over the duties of the, the lodge company treasurer, which I'm more than happy to do. Carl has done a wonderful job for us for so many years, but he, he wants to be stepping back and, and spend more time on, on other things besides taking care of lodge company finances. So um, I, I included copies of this actual report in the, uh, the stuff I emailed to Paul and Gavin, so hopefully they printed some of these out so you can actually see the numbers. But the Lodge Company income was 33230 The utilities were 7000 electric, gas, water, 7700 The big thing is the property taxes. Property taxes were 15782 uh, we also had about seven thousand dollars of building repairs and supplies, um, in the, or insurance. Insurance is thirty four hundred, and, and the building new repair for total expenditures of thirty two thousand three hundred. So, last year the lodge company did well. They they came out with a thousand dollar profit. Let's look at what we think is going to happen in two thousand twenty one with the lodge company. So far, income the the stated rent. The Lodge pays $18,000, Eastern Star pays $5,100, Rosicrucians were paying $8,400 for a total of $31,500, about what we had for expenses. That's good. However, Rosicrucians have had to stop paying, which is why the endowment fund kicked in $5,000. I think they stopped paying about halfway through the year. So if we drop out their $8,000, now we're down to $23,100. Uh, this is not looking good. Let's take a look at the lodge company expenses. Now, some of them are fairly fixed. The insurance is about thirty-four hundred. Property taxes fifteen eight. Utilities are running a little under eight grand for a total of twenty-seven thousand. That's still less than the income without the rescuitions, and that doesn't take into account what happens if something breaks. Last year, we spent about four thousand dollars on stuff that broke, and so uh, there's no cushion. We've got to figure something out here. And so, like I say, the trustees were meeting at 5 o'clock tonight to talk about this. And we'll probably come back with more information in uh, February. But it looks like, you know, either we got to get money from somewhere. We either fundraise or take it out of the endowment fund. More to come. Okay, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it.